Hello, everybody. Good afternoon and welcome to the United Stand. We are live here for what is going to be an absolutely massive game. It's Manchester United at Arsenal. Um, look, I'm focused now. Arsenal, as soon as I look at the screen, are through down the left-hand side with Martinelli. They're queuing up. Bloody hell. What's the bloody defence doing there? Not picking up the midfield runners already. First minute, not picking up the midfield runners. Casemiro isolated again, says Christopher. Exactly. That If they got that cut back right to Odegaard there, it's 1-0 and he should have done. Absolutely ridiculous. Losing runners again. Bloody hell. Here we go. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, my God. We're so lucky not to be 1-0 down. Thank God for Havertz. Thank God for Havertz there. He's completely missed it. What a prat. He's, he's missed... Oh, Arsenal fans are going to be going absolutely crazy here. Um, could have been a handball. That's not a handball. Delo heads it onto Martial's hand. It drops to Havertz and he missed kicks it. And then uh, Martinez just clears it away from Nketiah. But that, that could have been 1-0. It was, it, was, it was a bit lucky for Manchester United. Um, we got away with it there. I miss Xhaka so much, says Alex. This is the type of game where... He... This is the opposite to Ange ball, more like flange ball, says Nick P. Lovely ball into Rashford from Ericsson. First little bit of ball in the box. Rashford's in my fancy Premier League team and he scores! It's 1-0 to Manchester United. That's a smash and grab. That's Marcus Rashford. It comes from Christian Eriksen. It's a lovely ball. And Arsenal are in the mud from Manchester United. Arteta will be fuming here because Manchester United have lured them in. They've lured them in. They've played it slow. They've not been in to the penalty box of Arsenal. I don't think we've been in the final third at all in this game. And in the 26th minute... We do it. It starts off from a mistake. Probably Havertz again. I think it was Havertz again. Maybe it was Havertz. It's a lovely ball by Ericsson. And then Rashford off the left, which is where we want to see him. Cuts inside, gets the shot off. Ramsdale probably should do a little bit better. Um, it is Havertz who gave the ball away. It is. Arsenal fans, start your tears. But Rashford and Ericsson combine will take that. And Manchester United lead 1-0. It's smash and grab. Of course it is. But that's how we've sort of set up. And I tell you what, it might be a tactic now with the early goal. It'd be absolutely melting down. It's 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 a, a misplaced pass by Havertz that completely allows us to hit them on the break. Um, we bored them to sleep, says Daryl. It's been effective. It's been very effective. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. That's absolutely ridiculous. What are we doing? What are we doing? All that work. All that work. And we bloody don't defend again because we don't pick up a midfield runner. Absolutely bloody ridiculous. Who's marking Odegaard here? Who's picking up the runner? What a bunch of prats. I can't believe it. We're distracted by the goal. We're distracted by the goal. What are we doing? Why are we so... And Anana says, calm down now. You should have said it five minutes ago. Distracted. Well, watch this back. In... Oh, he... He... Ooh, Ericsson. Bloody score. Just mark him up, mate. Mark him up. He's like a bloody lifeguard on a nudist beach. And someone's drowning. He's distracted. That's, that's ridiculous. Come on. That is, you can't do that. The same thing happened last year. Same as last year. Fall asleep. Ridiculous. Uh, it's just, it's a complete and utter cliche. Right, we need a midfield, says Nick97. Well, here is Ericsson. Nice little pass into Bruno. Martial's in here. Get the shot off. Straight at Ramsdale. Oh. Jesus, Rashford knows. Rashford knows. And, and look, it sort of comes from Ericsson again. Ericsson with a lovely pass into Bruno. Quick transition into Martial. Tough angle from Martial. And uh, you can't blame Martial or Rashford there. They got shots off and they were both blocked. The onward revolution our side, says Jay. Jar, the low, good block again. B 
bit better from Man United. You can't moan there. Martial's shot was good. Good save by Ramsdale. Rashford's follow-up shot was good. Blocked by the defender. Hard watch. And um, I never said it was going to be an entertaining game. That's a penalty. That's a penalty. It's a penalty. I I'm not even going to lie. I can see from here it's a stonewall penalty. I, I can't lie. That's a penalty. I, I, I saw it. Stonewall. Absolute stonewall penalty. Cannot argue about it. Havertz. Straight sandwich between. Yeah. Nothing, absolute penalty that. Stonewall. Uh, well, well, Casemiro fouls him as well. <laughs> it's, it's a double foul. You know what? This is what football does. This is what football does. And this is why you need to judge football with... Um, This is why you need to judge football with um, fairness. Oh, I tell you what, though. He doesn't catch him with the first bit. Might not be. I thought he caught him there. He doesn't. It might get overturned. It might get overturned. I thought it was like Rashford's last week where he's caught him with the first contact. Now, wan is silly. He does make the tackle. But he doesn't make the contact. Havertz makes the contact. This might get overrun. This might get overturned. This might get overturned. So what I'm looking at is when Wambasaka's foot goes in there, I thought he, he, if he catches him there, that's a penalty. But he doesn't. So I think he'll overturn it. No penalty. He's got that right. VAR has worked. It's worked there. I'll give it some credit. It's got it right. Because wan is very lucky, but he doesn't make contact. Now, the difference between what happened at Forest last week is, on that first attempt to tackle, there is contact with Rashford. And I thought, when, from there, I think it looks like there's contact. There wasn't. Look at him. He, he can't contain the smile on his face, Maguire. He can't bloody believe it, can he? I'm back! I'm back! I told you I was right. Give me the armband as well. Why not bring Johnny Evans on? Johnny Evans is looking up and going, what about me? Oh, fucking hell. Here we go. Ericsson, wide to Rashford. This is interesting. We've got a 3v3. Get your head up. Rasmus is there. Oh, he's bloody held on to it for too long again. He's got to pass. Why won't Rashford pass? Bloody hell. That is so fucking annoying. Two times in a row. He's got to pass. You'll still score goals in this team, but you've got to pass, mate. It reminds me of those... You know, kids who play football and the parents are paying them £10 for every goal they score so they won't pass. Oh, fucking hell. An honour. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This, maybe there would have been an offside. Now Bruno's on the break. That, if, he was, if he was onside there, Saka, he couldn't finish his breakfast. It was a massive chance. But Anthony's got it up the other end. Marcus says, greedy uh, Rashford. I think Sancho will do well with someone like Hoyland. We don't know what's going on with Sancho, Danny. We don't know. Gary Neville was blaming Hoyland for Rashford not passing. English bias. What is Gary Neville on about, Shay? Uh, could get more. Could get a lot more. Could get a lot more. Could get a lot more. Get in! Ganacho! 2-1 to Manchester United. What a move on the break. And it's 2-1. Have some of that. Have some of that. 87 minutes. Ganacho scores. Inspirational substitution. I think Bruno Fernandes gets the assist as well. Arsenal in the fucking mad. Get in. That's been set up. That's been set up from last week by Ten Hag. He's absolutely played it perfect. He's played it perfect. Get in. Ganacho. They're looking at an offside. Don't bloody do this to me. Don't do this to me. People are talking. There's an offside word in the chat. It was such a good bit of play as well. I think it was Rasmus. Rasmus. Was it Rasmus? Yeah, Rasmus into our oh, Rasmus. He's on. Get him. 
Get in! He's miles on! Come on! Come on! What a bit of play by Rasmus and Bruno. He's fucking miles on. He's my... He's my... He's my... Wow. Well, Oh, get out! Cocker cat! Oh, you're joking! Oh! Oh! You're joking, ref! Cross comes in. We should have plenty of people in the hut. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Oh, piss off. There's got to be a foul! There's got to be a foul. There has to be a foul there. Because why has Declan Rice got so much space? There's got to be a fucking foul. There has to be a foul. You cannot give that goal. Who is marking who? Who is marking who? There has to be a foul there. There's no logical reason how Declan Rice on the back post can control the ball and volley. It makes no bloody sense. There's got to be a foul. Are we not complaining? What's going on? How are we not complaining? Why have we allowed that to happen? Nobody's complaining. What's going on? I don't understand it. How is a footballer in the Premier League controlling the ball on the back post, slipping over and still getting a fucking shot off? What is this? What, what's happening here? No, it's crap. Look, look, look who's to blame again. Maguire and fucking Evans. Go and close him down. Bloody pair of statues. Oh, fuck off. Absolutely knew it. Knew it. As you know. Um, there we go. Oh, here we go again. Where's the fucking defence? Oh, Fuck off! Apps! Just go away! Go away! Go away! Get out! Absolutely jokes! That defence with Johnny Evans and Harry Maguire in it is like... It's fucking all over the place. It's like a couple of dogs trying to shag on wearing ice skates. Bloody crap! Rubbish! Absolute rubbish! You will not operate at this level with that type of a centre-back pairing. What is he doing? Why is he playing Harry Maguire and Johnny Evans? For fuck's sake, it's sentimentality on toast. He's 35 and he got relegated with Leicester. That's what's playing centre-back for Manchester United. It's 1-1 when he comes on and it's now 3-1 because that's what happens when you play a 35-year-old who got relegated with Leicester. Maguire's not even in the fucking picture. He's probably playing centre-forward. Oh, God. It's just embarrassing. It's bloody embarrassing. Apparently Rashford backs out of a tackle. Fucking hell. If you play shit, you get shit.